What's up guys, welcome back to The Work Kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making a quick and easy, low calorie beef stew. We're gonna be using some 96.4 ground beef instead of regular chuck meat. We're gonna cut down on the calories and fat a lot. I'll throw the macros for the whole meal up on the screen here. It's around 350 calories. We're coming in around 40 grams of protein, under 30 grams of carbs, and I think eight to 10 grams of fat. Very few uh, ingredients here. We got some russet potatoes, three of them around 750 grams. We got three carrots here, a whole onion, two pounds of the 96.4 extra lean ground beef. We're gonna use a very little bit of olive oil, some uh, bouillon cubes for our beef broth, some salt, pepper, oregano, and a little bit of red wine to finish off. I'm gonna go ahead and jump ahead, chop up all the veggies, get them all prepped, and I'll take you to the first step. These are all chopped up. We got a pretty thick cut on the potatoes, the carrots, nothing special here. We're gonna start heating up about one tablespoon of olive oil in that big pot over there. And we're gonna start sauteing the onions first. Let them saute up a little bit and then throw the garlic in on top. And then we're gonna add the beef in. The onions are sauteing. They're getting a little translucent. I'm gonna throw the garlic in on top. Stir it up a little bit. And at this point, I'm gonna throw a couple splashes of some uh, sea salt in there as well. I'm also gonna ground in some pepper here. Good amount. And a little bit of oregano I got from the pizza shop that I ran out. About two big pinches. We'll let that garlic get just browned up a bit and then we're gonna throw the beef in on top. All right, now we're gonna drop the two pounds of beef in. And we're gonna mix that in with the onions and the garlic. Cook it about 90% of the way, so it's pretty brown. Remember, we're gonna be throwing it back into the stew later on. Now the beef's almost cooked all the way through. We're gonna remove it from the heat. And we are actually gonna dump it in a bowl. Once we removed all the meat from the bowl, I like to cover it up just to keep its juiciness. We're gonna keep the pot on hot there and we're gonna deglaze the pan with about a half a cup of red wine. And we're gonna go three and a half cups of water. If you have beef broth here, you can use beef broth, but I'm using a better than bouillon. So I'm going one teaspoon. I'm gonna make my own broth here. If you're feeling good, you can get a little extra in there. If you like it extra beefy. I know I do. Now that we removed the beef, we got our red wine and beef bouillon breaking down in the water in there. We're gonna let this come to a boil and then we're gonna throw in all the potatoes and carrots. Let that boil for about five minutes and then we'll throw the beef and the onions back in. Let that all meld together and cook it until the potatoes are soft and the carrots are soft and we are done. This is a really quick, short recipe, easy to make on a weeknight. Uh, it's gonna come out delicious. Potatoes are soft, carrots are getting soft. We're gonna dump the meat back in and give it another few minutes, along with all the beef broths and juices that come along with it. We'll mix them together. Bring that to another boil, and then we're basically just gonna wash it, cook, uh, and keep checking the potatoes because that's really all we're concerned with that it's fully cooked and we don't want to overcook it and the potatoes start falling apart. It should start thickening up here as it finishes up and if it doesn't we can add a little bit of cornstarch or flour to it to tighten up that liquid a bit. It's a little bit uh, looser than I would like so I've taken some flour I've mixed two tablespoons of flour with two tablespoons of cold water and I'm just going to introduce it to the stew to tighten things up a bit. Let's start with about half. See what that does and go from there. You can also use cornstarch, probably works actually a little bit better, but I don't have any on hand. Stir it in. I've done a little taste test as well, just to check the sodium level, pepper levels, all is good. See, we've already thickened up a little bit here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add the whole thing in. I like a tighter stew versus loose. I'm gonna cut the heat and let it cool for a few minutes and then serve it up and I'll show you the finished product. 
All right guys, here's the final product. I just gave it a taste test. It is awesome. I'll leave the full recipe down below as well as the macros. Give it a try, let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos just like this as well as workout, uh, diet, training tip videos. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you give the recipe a try, leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, bon appetit.